now that the dust has settled on these local elections, a clearer picture is emerging as to what happened. And it's not contrary to the headlines that you might see. A Labour Party landslide and ringing endorsement of Keir Starmer. What happened is the Conservative vote stayed at home. Look at the vote shares here. The Labour Party isn't doing that great. There's only seven points between them. And we can see this by looking at a number of key contests. For instance, last night, Andy Street lost to his Labour Party rival with just 1,500 votes in it. He lost to Richard Parker. But Richard Parker has won with less votes than the Labour Party lost with in 2021. So somehow the Labour Party got less votes but won this time around. What's going on? Well, Andy Street's vote collapsed, but it didn't add to the Labour vote. So the Conservative vote stayed at home. And this is clear in others, like let's look at Blackpool South. We see Christopher Webb won with 10,800 votes in what's billed as a massive swing of 26.3% to Labour. But last time out, the Labour Party lost with 12,500 votes. So the Labour Party limped home in many of these contests with less votes than they lost with last time. The Conservative vote just vanished. It stayed at home. So, the question is, are these losers going to realise what's happened? That the Conservative base deserted them? Well, let's find out. Had I resigned, I would not be here for the future debate about the future of the Conservative Party. And remember, the thing everyone should take from Birmingham and the West Midlands tonight is this brand of moderate, inclusive, tolerant conservatism that gets on and delivered has come within an ace of beating the Labour Party in what they consider to be their backyard. That's the message from here tonight. That's really interesting. So I'm afraid the answer is no. They're not aware of what just happened. I mean, you can't make it up, can you? The message everyone should take away is that this moderate, inclusive, cookie conservative party came within an ace of winning Labour. No, dude. What happened is all the people who are actual conservatives abandoned you. All the cookie centrists voted for you. But the share of the vote that you lost is the conservative vote, OK? They stayed at home and abandoned you. Are you in any way aware of this fact? Let's try one more time, shall we? You talked about, you know, winning from effectively from the kind of centre ground, if you like. Are you worried about the Conservative yeah. Party drifting to the right, to th overemphasising the threat from reform and ignoring other voters? I would definitely not advise that drift. I mean, the cephology here is really very straightforward, isn't it? This is the youngest, most diverse, one of the most urban places in Britain, and we've done, many would say, extremely well over a consistent period. And the local council results across many of our councils here in the West Midlands yesterday were also extremely encouraging. So the message is clear. Winning from that centre ground is what happens. I bet you didn't win, dude. OK, you didn't win. You've just lost, by the way. I don't think it's sunk in yet for poor Richard Parker, has it? So, I'm not confident the Conservative Party is going to realise what's happened here. You would expect that there are far more intelligent people than me within the party who can analyse these results and see what's happened. That it's the base of Conservative voters who cannot distinguish the Conservative Party any more from its now centrist Labour Party alternative who have just stayed at home. But I guess only time will, will, will tell on that, won't it? Um, what did you make of uh, Mark Harper's reaction to this? It seems to be steady as it goes, we're going to stick with it. The plan is working, allegedly, but it's clearly not, is it? It's a bit like that old adage, you know, you don't like this ham and eggs, well, here's some more ham and eggs. <laughs> you need to change what you're offering the electorate, clearly, because, you know, for all uh, Michael's kind of caveats, what has been clear over the last three days is that the, the Tory tide 
is going out, no matter what you think about the degree to which the labour tide is coming in. Uh, and, and they're in trouble everywhere. You know, that, that it was a miracle for Andy Street to do as well as he did, really, in the West Midlands, even though he was finally pipped at the post, against this kind of dramatic disappearance of, of Tory support right across the country. So it's a miracle that Andy Street did as well as he did with this disappearance of the Tory votes. You couldn't have said it any clearer. About the future of the Conservative Party. And remember, the thing everyone should take from Birmingham and the West Midlands tonight is this brand of moderate, inclusive, tolerant conservatism that gets on and delivered has come within an ace of beating the Labour Party in what they consider to be their backyard. That's the message from here tonight. <laughs> That's really... I mean, you can't make it up. Oh, what a loser. And he has no idea why as he wakes up this morning. Thanks for watching.